It was billed as one of the most interesting road bow playing duels witnessed since the Titanic struggles of Danny McParland and Mick Barry. Not since the 60s had two such megastars come up over the horizon. Bill Daly, world road bowling champion, and Harry Toll, the present All Island champion. And since Harry hails from Armagh, where bowels are called bullets, and Bill is a West Cork man, the score in Ballincurrig will take on the air of a gunfight at the OK Corral, because a score is precisely what they have to settle. Well, basically, it's similar to golf in a the sense they need to cover the course in the least number of shots. That's the, that's the ultimate uh, thing they want to achieve. They, the important thing for them, I suppose, is to make their points, as they call it, in bowling. They, they need to um, make sure that they get out for light for their shots and get through all the straights and, you know, hit the sops, as they call it. That means placing the bowl right place on the road. What would you say makes a good bowler? Well, it's a combination of lots of things. I mean, obviously, strength. They need to have a very fast shot. That's number one. The other thing is that they must be able to place the bowl where their marker places the piece of grass on the road, which we call a sop. I mean, they're, they're vital. As well as that, I mean, in court terms, a loft is very important. And in our math terms, being able to um, to pull the balls around the corners, you know, left or right, depending on which way the corner goes. The stakes are put up, nothing less than a five pound note. And more often, nothing less than a couple of a hundred will go on the nose of Harry Toll or Bill Daly. Today, the highest stake will be 1,500 pounds. And you'd be foolish to think it's easy to pick the winner, just because both men bet on themselves. And we're not talking about small change. Since 1985, Toll and Daly has each aspired to the pedestal as undisputed bowling champion. But the one who holds the Bank of Ireland Cup at the end of this day will be the king of the roads for 1985. What do you think of the roads here anyway? Well, I suppose they're not just maybe as smooth as down normal. Like with, uh, well, it was pretty good now, right? Of course, they're not as twisty as I can't remember. No, there's not as many corners. You had the choice of roads today? Uh, no, I had no choice. Now. Did you not? No, no. But they tell me that uh, they made them with less curves, they gave them with less curves here. Yeah, well, it's more does, it, does it make any difference to you? Well, they've been more skilled, you know, with no charge, like I suppose, and you have to keep them out of the grass. Yeah. What about the uh, spectators? Do you have a, any better control? I saw a guy got hit yeah. back there. Uh, what's that? I saw a guy got hit. Ah, well, it's just one of those things, like, it's yeah. rough road, you can bounce out of the road. Like, if you misplay it, right. it's hard to get out of the road, they're going pretty fastly. The other thing that interests me is why do you have the grass? Why is the, your well, it's more or less just give you a gate where to run, like you know, yeah. you know, to run the direct straight line, more or less. Yeah. Are there any other differences between the game in the north and the south? No, no, it's just basically the same, just a different style. Like. Right. And what about betting? Do you bet on yourself? Or yeah. Do you do? And you got a big bet on yourself today? Well, I don't know. Can you make money at it? Well, if you keep winning, you can. <laughs> <laughs> like everything else. Right. There's no, there's no more been second, like. Bill Daly hails from Lep in the bowling Mad West Cork, though for a living he keeps the peace as a guard in Glenmire, East Cork. This powerful player burst onto the All Ireland scene by taking the Under 18 Championship in 1975 from Stephen Toll of that same Northern Dynasty. And with that kind of strength, it's your own tough luck if you get in the way of Big Bill Daly's Cork swing. Some bad luck earlier. You, you hit a spectator, I see. Nice sharp blow on the knee. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit, bit unfortunate, right? But you have to take that as well. Well, does that happen much? I mean, it... no, it's... no, not really. My guy couldn't turn around and sue you anyway. Well, not yet, but hopefully. <laughs> the last baby leaves. The last baby leaves. The last baby leaves. The last baby leaves. The last baby leaves.
The last baby lead. But the real crack in bowels is when there's an altercation. Not that it's a real row because nobody actually gets hit. But for the referee, there are times when he wonders why they don't. We play so to the halfway finishing line, going down, as we call the halfway finishing line, it's marked on the road. Yeah. And suppose he throws his eyes over that throw there now, right? And suppose he comes up here. Yeah. Now just have he told throw away from there? No, no. I told throw from here. Oh, it's still, still going. Well. Still still score continues. The problem is this. The players have bowled about 14 shots and the referee says it's time to turn back. Soon it'll be too dark to play the home run. But Harry Toll's mob can see a good advantage in playing the next straightish bit of road. Instead of coming back, imagine really. Yeah. Bit of a row there about the uh, going on or turning back, but the uh, fellow says nobody was hit. Going well, fairly well. Yeah. I'm still ahead anyway. And right. I'm determined to do well. Where's it caught? Where's it caught? Shame as the light's going now. We can't film anymore after we've done this interview. Right. How long is the game going to go on before it's decided? Well, uh, the game car uh, carries on as originally planned to the return line. It returns, and when the light is failing, I'll, I'll have to decide when it's not fit to throw anymore. And when that's when that happens, does that mean you're going to declare a winner, or, or then no, just uh, we'll, we'll bad have to... light stop play? Yeah. Well, that only happened in cricket. <laughs> it happens in bowling as well, obviously. <laughs> And so the sun went down on Ballina Curragh, with Bill Daly holding the advantage overnight. An advantage which play the following day saw him keep, to be crowned Bal King of the Road, Bill Daly. <laughs>